Hello everyone, I am Imran and you're watching my YouTube news channel. These are some Dyna Guru updates, starting off with the North Day JP Morgan. Bank is ready to leap into the fray their words are amazing quote bring it into the world trade system unquote. North says their Iraq's going to go from being a little regional area to being a world trader thanks to the efforts of JP Morgan signing this agreement with the Central Bank of Iraq. They're ready to roll. We can't do this in Article 14 of the IMF Charter. I suspect the IMF is behind all this because they said to the biggest bank in the world, JP Morgan, get over there and get this thing on the road. I wouldn't be surprised to see a change to Article 8 within months. Mark Xavier Peck says we are expecting and most of my sources are in agreement that we should have a very action-packed first part of the week with news. Hopefully we'll get something that dispels this rumor of no RV until way down the road to 2024 or whatever they are trying to keep it cloudy, especially in Iraq, so when you hear these things, do not panic. Sandy Ingram says the good news is the mainstream news media is saying the IQD is expected to increase in value as the country becomes more stable. Frank26 says here's one I get a kick out of. Hey Frank, what I belong to is tier 4. What tier do you belong to the ones coming out of my eyes, Frank says. Frank says there are no 1, 2, 3. Four tiers, it's illegal, it would be impossible. No, there's no such thing as. Tier 1, 2, 3, and 4, everybody. Goes to the bank and exchanges it, that's it, nobody gets treated special. All right, Pimpy, a question, Kuwait has 3.29, a 3.29 diners, what do they have that Iraq doesn't? NV says a currency that's free of sanctions and restriction is what they have, all right, Polets, as it looks like the weekend of 7.14 to 7.16 will be a holiday weekend with a new year on 7.18. Shab said after I before the new year, perhaps the next target since they missed 7 to 1. All right, militiaman says Iran is talking about circumventing using the dollar which they've been um after all this time, but now they want to use the dinar, there's obviously something going on, they know there's some change is about to come, and they want to be a part of that, they are one of the largest trading partners for Iraq. And North State says getting out of Article 14 of the IMF Charter is essential for them to do what's called international trading. All right, baby's mom says, okay, I just got permission to share the following. Info, the citizens of Iraq were told their rate is changing to one to one. They're also told the rate will float in Iraq. They were told if they don't turn in their three to zero notes, they would miss the opportunity to change them for the lower denominations. The one to one rate will be in Iraq only and then will float. Higher our rate will come out on the Forex, hopefully at a minimum of 3.81 cents USD to one dinar. All right, Frank, 26 question. Will they be dropping the three zeros on a 25000 in our note? I'm new to this and I keep hearing conflicting information. Frank says you'll find three zeros in two places. First of all, in the exchange rate, the exchange rate right now for the Iraqi dinar is 0.0008597, something like that when they move the decimal point to the right because they have added value to their currency, three zeros, it'll be roughly about 0.86 we can. Round that up to one dollar, that's where we're looking for one to one. Frank goes on to say the other place to find three zeros is in the currency itself. It's not like somebody's gonna take a pair of scissors and cut it where it says 25,000 out of the physical currency, of course, not they cut it out of the exchange rate. When they cut it out of the exchange rate, it adds value to the currency. So the 25,000 dinar note outside of Iraq is at one to one or 25,000 note. But inside of a rector exchange rate, is what makes that valuable to whatever rate they have. All right, Mark Z. Via Peck says I hope we would get news today, but it is still very quiet some rumors about Eric announcing new bills on the street in the next day or two. But otherwise, very quiet. It's quiet on almost every RV. Front nothing overly exciting in the news, but also nothing negative. All right, Claire has an article, quote, quote, wholesale corruption, unquote, and the Rafa Dillon Bank, the most prominent reason for the overthrow of its administration documents, quote, the current management of Al Rafa Dillon Bank, which has been withdrawn, is accused of several cases, including causing waste of public money and mismanagement, and making administrative transfers on the base basis of nepotism and nepotism, away from the standard of competence and integrity, and the rise of unqualified people to assume administrative positions, unquote. Thanks for watching and subscribe my channel for more update.